Franklin and the Gecko Games by Paulette Bourgeois Franklin and his friends were in a special club called the Nature Nuts. Mr. Owl was the club leader. He taught them all about the wonders of nature and about the club's pet lizard, Gordon. Gordon the Gecko is an insectivore, said Mr. Owl. That means he likes to eat insects. Does that make me a cookie-vore? asked Bear. Everyone laughed. I suppose so, said Mr. Owl. Now, nature nuts. We have some club business, continued Mr. Owl. Summer holidays are coming, and Gordon will need a gecko sitter. Any volunteers? Franklin loved pets. He thought about his fish, Goldie, and smiled. He thought it would be fun to gecko sit. Franklin raised his hand to volunteer. So did Beaver. Let's take a vote, suggested Mr. Owl. Rabbit, snail, and goose voted for Beaver. Bear, fox, and goose voted for Franklin. Goose, you can't vote twice, said Beaver. Everybody knows that. But I can't decide, said Goose. There's no rush. Think it over, said Mr. Owl. Now, let's do the Nature Nuts Pledge. They placed their hand over their hearts. Winter, summer, spring, and fall. We love nature, one and all. We're the nuts, we're the nuts, we're the nature, nature nuts. Yay, nuts! Soon, it was Gordon's nap time. Goose, you can tell me your vote later, said Mr. Owl, as he took Gordon back inside the school. Why wait, Goose, said the rabbit, once Mr. Owl was gone. You know you're going to vote for Beaver. Yeah, your best friends, added Bear. I wouldn't vote for Beaver just because we're best friends, said Goose. I'll pick the person I think will do the best job. How are you going to decide that, asked Bear. That's when Goose had an idea. They would hold a competition, special gecko games, to decide. Goose looked in her book about geckos to come up with the idea for the first game. I've got it, she said. She gave Franklin and Beaver one jar each. What's this for? asked Beaver. The grasshopper catch, said Goose. Gordon eats lots of grasshoppers. We'll have a race to see who can catch the most. A race? I'm not ready to race, said Beaver, but it was too late. Get ready, get set, go, yelled Goose. Franklin and Beaver ran around the park. They scooped up as many grasshoppers as they could until Goose yelled for them to stop. She counted the grasshoppers in each jar. Franklin had six. Beaver had five. Franklin won the first gecko game. Next, Goose decided to hold a gecko quiz. Do geckos like the tanks hot or cold? Beaver honked her bicycle horn. Hot! Geckos like the tanks hot, said Beaver. Right, said Goose. One point for Beaver. Now, do geckos like to play at night or during the day? Beaver honked her bicycle horn again. Day, she shouted. Wrong, said Franklin. It depends on the kind of gecko, right, Goose? Right, said Goose. One point for Franklin. We have a tie. The next question is decide who will win the game. Goose thought of a really hard question. What do you call the tiny hairs on the gecko's feet? Beaver honked a horn. Sita, she said. Correct, said Goose. You won the gecko quiz. Franklin and Beaver had won one game each. Goose needed to come up with one more game to break the tie. Goose decided on a game of gecko hide and seek. Snail dressed up like a gecko and hid. Whoever found Snail would win the gecko games. Beaver and Franklin started searching. They searched and searched, but they could not find Snail. We've looked everywhere, said Beaver, as she flipped down a nearby tire swing. Whoa, yelled Snail. Beaver jumped off the tire swing. She had almost squished Snail. Franklin ran over and picked up Snail. I won! Maybe it is better if you take care of Gordon, said Beaver. I never forgive myself if I hurt him the way I almost hurt Snail. Franklin watched as Beaver started to walk away. He didn't feel like a winner at all. Just then, Mr. Owl came outside with the gecko. Goose, have we decided who gets to look after Gordon? Yes, the winner is Frank. Wait, said Franklin. Franklin thought about Goldie and how lucky he was to already have a pet. I think Beaver should take Gordon. Really? said Beaver. 
Beaver would do a great job, exclaimed Franklin. She's not just smart, she's pet smart. Thanks, Franklin, said Beaver. I'll be the best gecko sitter ever.